I'd like to see your hands. Who would like to have above average excitement, above average money, and above average opportunity? Anybody here? If you don't believe in you, why should anybody else? Define yourself in your own way. Don't let anyone else tell you who you are or what you can do. I did become Britain's top rice pudding salesman. Now what wouldn't you give to be able to put that on a CV? Were you successful because of those challenges or despite them? I think that in the early years of actually getting a job, I'm absolutely certain that my motivation was panic because I had imagined that I'd be on the scrap heap. And it's an interesting point to make that you can be an international entrepreneur without a strategic plan, <laughs> doing things for personal lifestyle reasons Which rather than what the bean counter thinks. Not at all what you're supposed to say and what you're supposed to have done. I thought it might also affect my career prospects if I revealed that I was a part disabled child. The problem is not so much staff who leave and go, as jolly as up upsetting as that is. The big problem is staff who leave but stay. Today is the tomorrow you may have been worrying about yesterday and yet often all is well. Just remember that it can be done. I also seem to be developing a knack for spotting and taking advantage of opportunities to try to improve my life but I was willing to change direction at the drop of a hat, even though it did mean risking failure. Remember that the greatest risk of all is not to risk. And I started to think maybe I've got the makings of an entrepreneur. Now remember that failing is not failing. Failing is not trying. I thought it was very interesting how um, someone with a very strong sense of, um, of ethics and wanting to do the right thing could be such a big success in, in the business world. As I said, it's just a great honour to be here and definitely on this occasion brought many cheers to my eyes because now I can relate on many different levels as well as being like a new business owner here in Philadelphia and hearing his inspiring thoughts of you know the struggles that one has at this point being a new business but also just to re-engage with the man that Graham has always conducted to be which is a, an honest, honourable kind-hearted, considerate English gentleman.